All right, so when I'm doing my tuning videos a lot, many times, a lot of times I'll get comments about how firmware X or Z doesn't need tuned and blah, blah, blah. So one of the things that I get the most comments on is KISS. So on this quad, our test quad, we have two flight controllers on there. One is a KISS flight controller, which is gonna be flying the rig. And then I also have a beta flight flight controller here on as well, just to record the movements because I know from flying KISS before and other times and trying to log it that it's logs, it's missing some data, which we'll show and we'll hear in a little bit. But let's see on defaults on a five inch quad, how KISS performs, and then we'll do the, we'll tune it up, and then we'll do the same for beta flight on defaults, and then we'll tune that up as well. And we'll just compare them. Let's see how KISS does versus beta flight. Engines All right, so I'm gonna be a little rusty here, but we have KISS, stock defaults, no changes, just set it up. So we got some throbbles. And bounce back. <laughs> this thing's all over the place. Um, so I have a uh, and that is at zero throttle. So you can see there's no air mode there. I don't have idle upset, but I can just hold my throttle up a little bit there. And you can see, now I'm holding my throttle up. You can see when you get off the throttle, it kind of drifts. So I have a confession to make. I kind of looked at logs already and uh, and I kind of know what I was going to get here because I could see the bounce back in it. And you can see it kind of drifting. It's interesting. So like even when I get on the throttle and just drift, see how it just drifts over? Now it's because of no air mode. Now I don't need, with KISS, like I don't need air mode for the full, it's not like the throttle, the props go to completely zero. Let's go up and do one of those. That's keeping the throttle up. Still drifts over. It's interesting. I don't know how idle up, because people are going to say idle up. And it, I guess that does it, but I'm keeping like, I don't know, I feel like 20, I mean we'll see in the log what front scent throttle I'm at there. There it doesn't drift. I'm, um, I feel like I'm at like 30% throttle. Alright, what else can we check out? Oh, prop wash. We didn't even do prop wash. Yeah. I mean, nothing, nothing great. I mean, it's, yeah, it's got prop wash. So what I think is going on is the PIDs are pretty low, like the P and D gain. Um, but it does have bounce back, so it, the, it's just the gains are too low, and then there's too much P-term on the same breath. What oh I got for battery voltage? Three, you know, four, yeah, I got some left yet. See smooth, smooth forward flight here. It's not a great time to be doing this because it's kind of dark. Oh man, just loose. This is a, the normal test quad that I've flown many other times that you've seen. And we're gonna have to catch it at another time, but I'm gonna get the what beta flight is on default here. Yeah, it's just it's just real loose and uh, yeah, wash throbbles, all kinds of stuff. Let's bring that in. Engines 
armed. So suffice it to say, uh, the defaults on KISS are not good, and this is, you know, a standard quad. Now, I don't have a KISS ESC. I'm gonna cut people off at the chase on that. That's the first thing they're gonna say. Well, you didn't pair it with a KISS ESC. It's the magic, isn't it? Okay, well, this is apples to apples, right? So we're gonna use beta flight on it. We're gonna be looking at the flight controller, right? The flight controller firmware. So it doesn't matter the ESC, because if the magic's in the ESC, well, then you're gonna have that same magic, uh, regardless of what flight firmware it is. Uh, we'll do that. Maybe we'll do a follow-up test. I'm always going to be chasing my tail with this stuff, it seems. So what we'll do now is I'm going to try to tune this up. So I want to do, I'll, I'll tune in KISS, same procedures and practices I do for tuning in general. And then uh, we'll see how it looks tuned. Then after that, I'm going to fly beta flight defaults. Show you guys that. And then that tuned as well. It might be a two-part video. I'm not sure. We'll see how it how long it goes in the tooth here so anyways uh, yeah let me tune it up and then uh, let's show that video in doing this edit and pulling this all together what I think we're gonna do is just roll the beta flight default next I do tune both and I'll show that in the next video and you'll need to come back for that because kiss tuned is a whole different story and it's not perfect but neither is beta flight and it really will come down to what's important to you now, if you're watching this video a couple weeks after the release, I'll put in the end cards the next video where we show them both tuned. If you are interested in a little bit of a deeper dive in looking at the differences between the logs and take a look at what the logs show the differences are between the two, it's pretty interesting to see Kiss's default and, and some of the things on how it flew. But if you are interested in that, please do check out the Patreon. That's why I release those kind of more in-depth Patreon-only videos. Again, at the end scene cards, you'll have a link to the Patreon channel. I'm going to exit out here with rolling the beta flight footage on its defaults. Thanks everybody, and I hope this helped. So this should be interesting, seeing defaults. Engines are. That's what D-min enabled too, which I normally turn off just because the D's are really low. So let's do some smooth forward flight. See any bounce back? I don't think. Yeah, maybe. I don't. It's hard. FPV cameras. All right. Anyways, let's uh, at that. Let's check out throbbles. So you can see, there's some more. Ooh. Do the punch and just throttle drop. A little bit, not too bad though, honestly. Let's check out Wash. But you can see, I mean, beta flight on defaults isn't as good as tune, but it's not nearly as bad as as Kiss was on this. I mean, Kiss was horrible on defaults. So this whole, you know, just flash and fly. It's like, well, not on this squad. Yeah, it's probably, I think there's a little bit of bounce wash there, back, uh, bounce back there. Now I have uh, default eye turn relax, right, a 15. If I would turn eye turn relax down to like 10 or 5, you wouldn't get that bounce back. That bounce back is because of the uh, eye turn wind up, which is the same as 
Well, Kiss suffers some, but Kiss doesn't have. I turn relax. So, it's not an option. And even with set point weight of 100, and you couldn't get rid of, you couldn't get the, the lag gone All right. And 13 volts, gotta bring it back. So there you go, that's default. So you can compare defaults versus defaults. Engines disarmed. Ugh. You ran right past it, you blind? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh, you're a big guy. Ugh. It's right here. It's right here. <laughs>